When a rich man was told he only had a few months to live, he donated his entire wealth to the less fortunate. The last video he took of himself was enough to leave many in tears. This is the story of Ali Banat. He was just an ordinary guy before luck smiled upon him. He was born on the 28th of November 1985 in Sydney, Australia to an average family. Since he was not born with a silver spoon, he strived to be and have more in life. So he started working as soon as possible and not long after, his hard work paid off. He started a security and electrical company which was a tremendous success. Everyone wanted to work with his firm because he was extremely meticulous in his job. He wasn't even 30 yet and everything was already falling into place for him. Of course, a successful business meant his earnings increased and soon he was a millionaire. Being a young man with no serious responsibilities and with such wealth, he spent his money on anything and everything, from designer outfits to collectible watches to luxurious cars. You name it, Ali had it all. The house he lived in was a mansion and he had several more. He was constantly hosting parties and spending time with his friends. Ali was living the dream and everyone around him wanted to be like him. But everything changed in 2015. One day, Ali felt sick and was unable to go to work. That was strange for him because he worked hard to sustain his lifestyle. He decided to just rest at home, thinking it was due to stress and all he needed to do was take a break. But when he didn't feel better at the end of the day, he decided to visit the hospital. At the hospital, the usual tests were carried out, but when he got the results, he couldn't believe what the doctor had told him. The results showed that he had testicular cancer. When he heard this, he consoled himself, saying he would get the best treatment and would live just fine. But the doctor told him otherwise. He was told his cancer was already in stage 4, which meant it was aggressive and couldn't be managed. Ali was told that he had only 7 months to live. At the time of the diagnosis, Ali was only 29 years old. He couldn't believe his life was already over. He decided to get a second opinion, but the other doctor also told him the same thing. He even advised him to handle his finances and get prepared. Several thoughts rushed through his mind. He couldn't believe all his wealth was not enough to restore his health and save him from death. He reached out to so many people, but they all said the same thing. Sorry, nothing can be done. At the time he got the news, Ali was ready to do anything in the world to get rid of the cancer. He would have done anything that was asked of him, but nobody could help him. All his wealth and luxuries became meaningless to him, and he was afraid of leaving the world without finding true peace and leaving behind a good legacy. What he decided to do took his friends and family by surprise. After his diagnosis, he decided to sell his business as it was going to be a burden for him. Everyone told him to rethink that miracles could happen, but he said if miracles did happen, he didn't want to be burdened with all the wealth and just wanted to live a simpler life. After that, he sold his house, his car, a Ferrari convertible and all his most prized possessions. His designer outfits and very expensive watches were all packed up and given to charity. When he was letting go of his Ferrari, he was all smiles and said, Driving something like this doesn't really cross my mind anymore. It is not something I would want to do with the little time I have left on this earth. When he donated his clothes, he said that the smile of one young man he had helped was worth more to him than his possessions. When he was done disposing of his belongings in Australia, he packed up his bags and went to Africa, Togo. He wanted to make a difference and leave behind the legacy. So there, he founded a non-charitable organization called Muslims Around the World. The goal of the organization was to help people all over the world, especially those in need, live a better life while it lasts. Ali once said, We rarely think of others when all is going well in our lives. People don't value time. I gave away everything that I had, hoping it would save someone's life. I wanted to leave this world without anything, only with a pure soul. Everyone knows I lived a life where I had everything, cars, luxury apartments, and almost everything money can buy, but I was never fulfilled. But all that money didn't make me as happy as I am now. It's not good enough to tell anyone that money can't buy happiness. But I don't think there are many things more fulfilling than seeing the smile you help put on someone's face. Through this organization, he built several free schools, 
sponsored the education of many and built wells, mosques, hotels, hospitals, and anything to help better the community. Togo was not the only place he visited. He went over 100 countries like Ghana and Burkina Faso and always donated something that would benefit the community. He also built orphanages with world-class equipment and the children were treated in the best manner possible. Ali touched the lives of many and he also seemed at peace. In the videos and images he posted of him giving out or helping communities, he radiated with joy. However, that was just him putting on a brave face because the cancer was still there. Behind the scenes, Ali was in terrible pain and waiting for his death. A year after his diagnosis, he was still alive. When the doctor said it was a miracle though, Ali didn't go back to his former lifestyle. He had already found peace while being a charity worker and was pleased with his life, as it helped him see things in a better light. It allowed him to realize that there was more to this world than what he had initially desired. Before his diagnosis, he had already known that some people somewhere were living miserable lives, but it hadn't occurred to him to do something about it. He had given out to people who came to him for donations, but he hadn't thought much about it. He had only done it because it was what rich people do. It was after he was told he had just seven months to live that his eyes had opened to everything around him, showing him how much of a difference he could make in the lives of everyone around him. And a few years later, Ali did something that shocked the whole world. On the 29th of May 2019, a video of Ali began to circulate. In the video, he had left a message for people, advising them to do the right thing as time waits for no man. He said, Remember, we all live this life empty-handed. All that we leave behind is our actions. The video came with the news that the millionaire who gave all his wealth to charity has passed away. After surviving for three years longer than the doctors predicted, he finally lost his battle against cancer. He was 33 years old at the time of his death. The video went viral and everyone who saw it hit the like button. The message he passed must have touched the hearts of many and gotten them emotional, but only a few learned from it. Most forgot about it as soon as the video ended. Ali died several years back, but he is still remembered for his exemplary character. All the people he helped and put smiles on their faces would never forget him. He only spent a short amount of time on earth but he did everything within his capability to make a difference. Ali would remain alive as long as he is remembered. His charity foundation, Muslims Around the World, is still operating, and he is still putting smiles on the faces of thousands from his grave. What do you think of this heartbreaking story? What would you do if you were told you had only a few months to live? Would you spend all your fortune or donate it like Ali? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.